He's walking over. And he won't hang about. And they're off. And uh, Roscom just got his nose over the top of the tape there. And he missed it by a good 20 lengths or so. And he's waving his flag. It's a false start. It's a false start to the 2006 Grand National. It was the grey Roscom who got his nose over the tape there and got caught up. And he lost best, the best part of 20 lengths. And very sensibly and very quickly, the riders have realised what has happened. And uh, unlike the debacle in 1993, they have been able to pull up in the space of about 100 yards or so and uh, are now walking back. Now Peter Haynes calls them forward once again. The starter has them. That's it. They're ready and they're racing this time. And native upmanship has st stood still at the start and has missed it about 25, 30 lengths. On settling down, Lord of Illusion, the leader from Jack High, and up there to his shotgun, Willie. Rinka Ree is there with Puntel and out wider, Valley Cassidy, as they settle down. Further back in the field, number six, Valverde. Out very wide is Silver Birch in company there with Royal Eclair as they charge to the first of 30 fences with joint Ian Bartlett. Shotgun Willie is just the leader over the first from Rinka Ree, and Juvenier has gone, Royal Eclair is down. Tyne and Tyne again has fallen the first as well. And also Enox is a fallen fence number one. There are four of them down by the looks of it at the first fence. They come over the second, down to the third. Lord of Illusion and Shotgun Willie, the pair in front. Rinkery behind them in third place. Then Pantel and Bally Casti towards the outside from Joe's Edge and Roscom and Silver Birch and Ebony Light. First gold with those from Garbivoni and then comes Heroes Colonge and is no good. And Iris Royal and Amberley House and Baron Windrush has gone. Baron Windrush is a four up the third. Native Upmanship is 20 odd lengths behind the others they get over number four with Roscom a faller Roscom goes at fence number four and as they continue their journey we join Tony O'Hare coming down now towards the uh, fence before Beaches and shotgun Willie up there with Bally Cassidy first gold on the outside Lord Volusion is prominent on the inner and uh, we've uh, lost one at uh, that fence uh, too it looks like Ebony Light that's down as they come towards uh, Beaches for the first time and shotgun Willie on the inside, right up there, Bally Cassidy, the outside first goal, wider still Garbavonian. Just behind these uh, on the inside as they uh, take pictures, Rinkery and Lord of Illusion. All the leaders uh, safely over that. We've lost uh, Justin Dead towards the back of the field as they come towards the Foyne Haven. Shotgun Willie, the leader from Lord of Illusion. Bally Cassidy, Puntal right up there. On the outside is first goal, Rinkery just behind them, then Garbavonian and Silver Birch alongside these is uh, Neil Desperandum and they're followed by Joe's Edge, Hero Collange behind these, followed by Hedge Hunter and then direct access as they go to the canal turn. Shotgun Willie passed on the inside by Lord of Illusion, leaders all safe for the over mistake by Hero Collange as they head up now towards uh, Valentine's Brook and it's Lord of Illusion with Shotgun Willie, Bally Cassidy, Rinkery, Pontal and Neil Desperandum behind these and there it's and the Duke is gone as we go to Darren Owen. Field charge on towards fence number 10, Shotgun Willie in the centre, Puntel, Bally Cassidy right up there with the red cap to the outside, and it's Bally Cassidy who leads from Shotgun Willie, Lord of Illusion, Rinkery is up along the inside and then to the outside, first goal followed by Forrest Gunner and then further back to Silver Birch, Hedge Hunter is nicely in touch as they go on towards this ditch and it's Bally Cassidy over in in front by a couple of lengths to Shotgun Willie, first goal and Puntel, a few lengths to Lord of Illusion, Hedge Hunter, the real bandit Rinkery, Silver Birch, Forrest Gunner, then Neil Desperandum followed by direct access as they clear the next fence looking towards the rear end of the field. Native Upmanship is last. Feel they're about to cross the Melling Road and it's Bally Cassidy by a few lengths from Shotgun Willie Puntal. First goal to the outside, then Lord of Illusion, that one being chased by the real bandit with the red cap. They're back on the race course proper over to Jim McGrath. Bally Cassidy is the leader as they come now towards the 13th fence. Leads by three or four lengths to Shotgun Willie, who was favourite here three years ago. Puntel up in third place, the winner of the Betfred Gold Cup. Up in fourth as first goal, the King George winner. In behind them is Lord of Illusion. And getting up on the outside with the red cap is the real bandit as they charge now towards this next fence. And it's Bally Cassidy out in front by four or five lengths to Puntel and first goal. And on the outside, the real bandit behind them on the inside 
side is is no good as they come now to the 13th fence in the national and the all the leaders got over it well in fact they're all over it well native upmanship clears at last as they head now towards the 14th and it's Bally Cassidy from Puntel behind them is the real bandit from first golden shotgun Willie on the inside they're followed by hedge hunter in about sixth or seventh position as they all get over that one well brisk assessor is back there with his no good and silver birch the inside from rinkery uh, nina carberry with a white face there in the center of forest gunner they're followed next then by rick successor as they head over the chair and the leader over it was puntel silver birch is gone silver birch is gone and heroes colonge has been brought down jack high is a faller and sir oj was happened over the water puntel the leader from valley cassidy a gap then to first goal the real bandit didn't handle it well hedge hunter going well fifth from clan royal is tracking him and also pretty relaxed at this stage behind clan royal on the inside lord of illusion passed by risk successor they're followed by joe's edge and further back is forest gunner they're followed by direct access and inca trail garbavonian has been pulled up further back then on the outside, the number six, Valverde. Then Rinka Ree back in the field. Shotgun Willie from Otagam. And they're followed next by Sir OJ. Native Upmanship is back in the field with 27 still standing. We rejoin Ian Bartlett. Whispered secret was a fall at the first fence. First time round as Pantel and Ballycasty lead now at number 16. From first golden, Hedge Hunter and Clan Royal and Joe's Edge. And then Inca trail towards the inside from the real bandit in behind these number six, Valverde. Then Otagam and Colonel Bray and direct access as the leaders come over the 18th now forest gunner still in there with a bit of a chance then nil desperand and rinkery is further back the big open ditch now pontal in the white and red valley Cassidy, the far side of him they're over it together clan royal or oh, a terrible mistake hedge hunters taken third clan royal and first goal together for number six valverde then risk access from behind this the real bandit and inca trail in behind those is forest gunner and then comes joseph towards the inside from colonel raven amberley house is well behind cordish rebels pull up direct access has pulled up also pulled up is the one miguel as we rejoin tony o'hare coming to the fence before features Bally cassidy the leader followed in second by pontal and they're being followed towards the inside by hedge hunter then comes clan royal risk accessor towards the outside the re real bandit behind these number six foul verdi with inca trail as they come on now towards beaches for the second time and Bally cassidy out in front and clear from pontal the real bandit risk accessor hedge hunter the inside clan royal just behind him then inca trail Bally cassidy lands in front hedge hunter jumps into second and the leaders are all safely over that one mistake towards the back by it takes time as they come on towards the foy naven fence and bally cassidy is the leader there's a faller at the uh, back of the field there so roj was gone at uh, features and up front it's bally cassidy away from the foy naven in front of hedge hunter clan royal moving well now on the outside and uh, we've lost one there first gold at the foy naven as they go to the canal uh, turn now bally cassidy the leader followed by hedge hunter and clan royal second and third inca traders made ground on the inside and another mistake by clan royal they're followed on the outside by the real bandit then risk accessor number six valverde chases them ahead of joe's edge as they come up now to uh, valentine's and bally cassidy takes a heavy fall leaves hedge hunter in front of clan royal lincoln trail number six valverde risk accessor and the real bandit over to darren owen and it's the big players hedge hunter from clan royal these two followed by number six valverde the real bandit is down the center of the track as they jump the fifth last and it's hedge hunter by a couple of lengths to clan royal in second place number six valverde green jacket black sleeves then risk accessor inca trails creeping into it then forest gunner followed by joe's edge and nil desperando and this is the last ditch four from the finish and it's hedge hunter lobbing along nicely for ruby walsh tackled by tony mccoy and clan royal two lengths away inca trail then number six valverde three or four lengths to forest gunner rinker He's pulled up, is no good, is out of the race, and Clan Royal has just out jumped Hedge Hunter at the third last. Number six Valverde is on the bridle for Slippers Madden. Inca Trail just in behind them. Colonel Raven has been pulled up, so still several chances. The real bandits out of the race, they cross the Manning Road. Two fences left to jump. It's the big three in the market. Hedge Hunter, Clan Royal, number six Valverde over to Jim McGrath.
It's Ruby Walsh here on Hedge Hunter, bidding to become the first horse to win back to back Grand Nationals since Red Rum 32 years ago. Clan Royal alongside him, Tony McCoy, at the 11th attempt, trying to win the big race, the Grand National. Then number six, Valverde, joining in and making a line of three. In behind them is Inca Trail with a gold cap. For the back, then Risk of Sessa and Nil Desperandum. They're running up now towards the second last. And the leader here on the inside is Hedge Hunter from in the centre. It's Clan Royal on the near side. It's, still, it's uh, jumping at their number six, Valverde. They're clear of Nil Desperandum. And further back is Risk of Sessa from Inca Trail. They come towards the last fence in the Grand National. And on the far side, Hedge Hunter comes towards them. And he was out jumped by number six, Valverde. The Irish National winner has taken the lead now as they charge towards the elbow. It's number six, Valverde, in front of Hedge Hunter, who's battling on. In behind them is Neil Desperandum. Clan Royal is now starting to weaken. They're on the elbow now as they turn for home. It's number six, Valverde, in front here. He's two, length, two or three lengths in front for Slippers Madden, having his first ride in the Grand National. As they come up towards the line, it's number six, Valverde, who's out jumped and outstayed them for Slippers Madden. 20-year-old Slippers Madden wins it in his first ride. Second is Hedgehunter, tight third between Clan Royal, a photo there with Neil Desperandum, a long gap then to Risk Accessor, followed by Puntel, then Joe's Edge. Nina Carberry is going to complete the course here, but she's just been beaten there to the line by Inca Trail, and she